we all know that there's something so therapeutic about reading a good book by the beach. I could not stand the Utah snow for a minute longer, so we decided to fly to Florida. This is a little beach vlog, but also what I read in a week while on vacation. so crazy i don't really talk to you guys like at all um since the beginning of this video and even then it was like very brief basically in this video i'm going to be showing you guys what i read in a week while on vacation also gonna be some vlogging aspects to this video as well um so it's kind of gonna be a mixture of the two like i said i am in florida right now and i am here with my whole family it just feels so good to be reunited again, all of us. The last time we were all together, we were talking about it. It was like Christmas of 2022. That is not okay. But my brother actually lives in Florida, so that is why we come to visit here. But it's also really nice because it's like a good vacationing spot for a lot of us. So it's really just perfect. Yesterday on the plane, I was reading Bride by Allie Hazelwood and I love all of the red. I feel like it all coordinates so well and it like matches my nails too or my nails match it. But yesterday on the plane I was like right here when I started and then I read this much on the plane. So I am now on page 310. And it ends at like 380 or something like that. I actually don't have a mirror. So I'm just going to be looking into the viewfinder. So I'm so sorry if I'm getting a little up close and personal. I do not look glamorous when I put on makeup. Just ignore me while I talk. This was a highly anticipated read for me because you guys know I love the Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. She always writes romance books, but this is the first one that she's written that's a paranormal romance. I've heard that it has like a twilight kind of a feel. So in preparation of this, I have been just getting this itch to watch Twilight for the first time. So I have started the second movie now. Wow. Um, <laughs> I feel like that's a conversation for another day. Wow. Twilight? I don't know. It's like so different than I imagined it would be. I never ever read things that have vampires or werewolves, but especially vampires, usually the fantasy I read has fae. Getting into this, all of the vampire talk and werewolf talk, honestly, if I didn't watch Twilight before, I would think Allie Hazel just like made a lot of this lore up and that would have impressed me. But now watching Twilight, I'm like, oh no, that's just like what people say and vampires are like. Why am I rambling? Why am I going on about this right now? <laughs> on the plane, I was going back and forth between audiobook and reading the physical book. I'm thinking I might not like the audiobook. The whole feud between the vampires and the werewolves, that was kind of confusing to me. Like it didn't really make sense in my mind when I was reading it. I just felt like I couldn't keep up with what was going on. The biggest thing has been the main character I don't understand their marriage. Like, I I know it's like a collateral. Is the trope marriage of convenience? Because I've never read that before. It makes me really sad because I love Allie Hazelwood. I like her writing, but now reading this, I just, 
I'm not really into it. We know Ali Hazelwood is known for having quirky characters, which is one of my favorite parts about her female main characters, but I feel like Misery is a little bit, she kind of makes jokes too much about stuff. So even during some serious conversations, she's just like cracking jokes, but it's like all the time. It has never bothered me before in a book. And I sound like a snob saying that. <laughs> I'm just a little sad because I thought I would love it. Well, right now I'm getting ready for the strawberry festival. It is a festival that my family has been to before. I haven't been to it though. And I have heard amazing things. They love it. Then before that, we are going to, I think, just like drive by the beach. My brother lives within walking distance to the beach, which is so crazy and so cool. I've been having a whole proud sister moment since being here. He has the cutest little house. It is so cute. My brother has a white picket fence. That is adorable. I'm just so proud of him. Hunter, if you see this, I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. But first thing, we're going to this half coffee shop, half bookstore, which is my dream. I think it's every reader's dream to open a store like that, a store of Robert's half. I think they have some like safe food options that I can have, so I'm really excited about that. But that's pretty much it, so I'm just gonna keep getting ready, and then I will update you guys at some point with my reading. <laughs> you know, I know what it is from now. I thought it was from my eyeliner. This is what it's from, because look, there's a piece of chunk missing. Oh no! We are all ready to go. I did my makeup, and now we're going to the strawberry festival. We need my cars after order. you guys in a couple of days i figured it's definitely time to kind of update you guys on my book what's been going on all of that so for each day i've kind of been posting hopefully oh i made it inside as you there was that beat and i i hate i 
I know bees are so useful and I know they have a purpose. I am terrified of them. I am officially on page 60 of Bee Treed by Emily Henry. And I finished Bride, as you guys saw. I talked a little bit about it, but I didn't really explain it that well because to be honest, I didn't really understand what was happening that much, like really until the end. I finally was able to grasp the politics of everything. I just, I don't know, I was not really invested at all. So I would honestly give it like maybe a one and a half or two stars. It was a highly anticipated read for me and I'm so sad I thought I would give it a really high rating. I had a lot of cons with it. So yeah, Bride was a bit of a letdown for me. As you guys saw, I hopped into Beach Read. I read the description to my family and actually had them pick which one I should read next, either Beach Read or People We Meet on Vacation. And they chose Beach Read. So I have been reading this and I actually started it on the beach. And oh my gosh, I cannot put it down. I'm obsessed. So we actually woke up this morning. We went to a really cute coffee shop. We ended up going to church. And after church, we went to this really yummy restaurant called Taco Dirty, I think is what it's called. And it is so good. It has been like my new obsession. Now we just got back home. We are about to go to a doggy beach. And we're gonna take this guy, Noxie. Nox. Usually he runs up to me but Knox come here come here come here if you don't know retreat is about it's about the main character January so I don't really want to give much away because I am obsessed with the beginning and I think that's a really fun part to learn on your own so I'm not gonna give anything away but basically January has been through a lot of trials in her life and so she kind of tends to over romanticize her life and almost like narrate in her mind what her life is like and so she's a hopeless romantic so she has to go to this beach house and she's currently dealing with writer's block and that's when the love interest Gus comes into play he is also an author and he's dealing with writer's block as well um, they end up forging this deal where they will write for each other's genre and whoever is able to get published first basically wins this deal. Oh my gosh, this reads like a literary fiction. It is so good. I'm absolutely obsessed and I could not have read this at a better time than right now at the beach. Let's go and let's continue on with the montage. <laughs> book I am on page I think 115 I am obsessed with my book like I can't put it down I cannot believe it's taken me so long to read this book what the heck it's amazing it's our last full day here so sad but it's time to go eat some food and hang out for the rest of the night hi everyone okay it has been a few days since I last updated you like actually talked I think the last time I may have updated you was Sunday, possibly, and it's Wednesday. Not even our last full day here. We're leaving at like noon. Oh, one move the table. We are flying back to Utah today, and oh my gosh, it has been so much fun. This has been the fastest week because 
Two of those days were travel days, so we basically spent five full days here. It flew by way too fast, and I'm actually surprised that I got as much reading done on this trip as I did. I thought that I would be busy just hanging out and whatnot, which we were so, so busy. Like, every day we were doing something. It was so fun. But I actually was able to get quite a bit done reading wise my mom started the inheritance game series which she is such a fast reader so she already read the first one she's on to the second one now and then my mimi we went and got her book yesterday and i actually recommended the cruel prince series to her because she really likes fantasy some other booktubers that i love to watch and they like that series a lot so i thought that was like a safe one to go with so she's starting that we're all just reading over here and so fun but now for an update on beach read oh my gosh i'm obsessed i know i keep saying that but i love this book so much this genuinely feels like some of those more unique rom-coms especially during the 90s and the early 2000s that a lot of us know and love i feel like for instance how to lose a guy in 10 days that rom-com is so unique because i feel like the third act conflict was just different than most miscommunication tropes that you see in like books and movies. I don't know why I feel like Emily Henry is gonna give us something different. I love their banter in this book and I'm just, I'm so on board for January and Gus. I'm on page 116 and we are probably just gonna read like the whole time when we're on the plane. That's my plan. I will see you guys on the flight. Which, by the way, I absolutely hate flying. It's my biggest fear. So I've noticed having a distraction like reading has literally saved me. It's been like the only thing getting my mind off of the fact that we are thousands of feet in the sky. You look like beach bones. We look like we belong here. We kind of do with our hair. We've been kicking around the idea. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anyone. It's a secret, okay? Huh. <laughs> it's a secret. I know there's thousands of you out there. <laughs> Yeah, just, it's just between us. over i'm so sad because it was so much fun i finished beach read by emily henry and oh my gosh i finished it this morning i actually read like almost 200 pages on the flight and then i just finished the rest of it this morning i had like i think i had like 40 something pages left somewhere around there and oh my gosh this book was amazing it was so good this was so beautiful emily henry I think she might be my favorite romance writer. I just love the way that she can spin a story and just make you feel like you're there. I think Beach Read and Happy Place are pretty neck and neck for me. Those are the only two I've read by her, but I think Happy Place, I loved the whole friendship aspect of it. You really see like her friendships. The way Emily Henry writes 
feels like a women's fiction book and I think that's why I love her book so much because there's so many other things going on rather than just the romance. I just, I loved their characters. I love how they had to go through a lot of hardships in their own lives and that helped their relationship. And I think I would end up giving this one probably like a four and a half. I loved it so much, but I don't think it's quite five stars. I felt like it was close. I mean, it made me laugh. The banter was so good. There were parts that were so funny. There were parts that actually made me cry. Like the ending was so emotional. Oh my gosh, I loved how it wrapped up. It just is so beautiful. So that is all that I read in a week while on vacation. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed filming it. And now it's time to get back into the regular swing of things and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.